Hey guys, so it is the end of January now, which means it is time for me to wrap up with my favourite products I've been enjoying in the month of January. And this month I've been enjoying quite a few new things and I've got quite a lot to talk to you guys about as well. So without waffling on too much, let's get to it. So the first category I want to chat to you guys about is skincare. And this month I've been enjoying a new cleanser. This is from Radical Skincare and it's the Radical Skincare Hydrating Cleanser. I'm actually nearly out of this now because I've been using it pretty much every single day. And my skin has been quite dry lately because it's been pretty cold and I've been suffering from eczema on my um, cheeks and also on my chin and this one has been just been really helping with my eczema patches and all my dry patches on my skin as well and this has completely healed it as well so I really really recommend it if you are after a new cleanser and I never tried anything for Radical Skincare before so this is one of my first products and I highly recommend it as well so this is the Radical Skincare Hydrating Cleanser the next um, category or the next product I want to chat to you guys about is a facial mist. Now this is from Mario Badesco and it's the Mario Badesco Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs and Rose Water. I really like this because it smells really nice and it's super, super affordable as well. So I actually picked up this mini size as part of a set in Ulta last year. Um, it's just a really nice facial spray to use every day and something to throw in your bag um, if you need to top up your makeup or if you need to freshen your skin up throughout the day. I actually done a whole blog post about my favourite facial mist a couple of weeks ago so I would have a link for you down below um, in the description box if you're interested in reading up more about it. But it's just a really nice facial spray to use and I really like the rose water because it's really soothing, especially really good if you've got any redness as well. It definitely helps to soothe that redness as well. So I've really been enjoying this from Mario Badesco. The next um, category I want to chat to you guys about is makeup and I got a few makeup -y items I want to share this month and the first one is a new base, this is from Creme de la Mer and this is actually a rediscovery for me, I actually found this in the um, back of the drawer a couple of weeks ago and this is the Reparative Skin Tint with an SPF of 30 and I got the shade in light to medium number 3. I actually got this on today, it's just a really lovely base to wear day to day if you don't want to wear a foundation or anything too heavy. This one just evens your skin tone out but it looks like a foundation and it definitely feels like a foundation so it's quite a nice um, lightweight um, tinted moisturiser slash lightweight foundation and I recommend it if you are suffering um, from it's got a sort of skincare product inside as well, so it's more um, to repair your skin as well. So if you don't want anything too heavy or if you are suffering from any uh, breakouts and you don't want to wear anything too heavy, then this is a really nice alternative as well. So this is from Creme de la Mer. The next um, base product I've been enjoying is a new concealer. This is from Urban Decay and it's the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin um, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. So I actually got the shade in light medium light neutral and I had this for a few months now. But this month I've really been using it a lot and it just has a really nice um, doe foot applicator and the colour is a really nice perfect match for me and I really like it because it's liquid concealer and you guys know I really like liquid concealers I find them better than other concealers they blend really well and this one I've been using it on my blemishes um, or any discoloration or pigmentation I have um, and it's been working really well and it definitely stays put all day whereas I feel like some concealers just budge throughout the day and at the end of the day everything's gone but this one definitely stays for all day you don't need to touch up throughout the day and it's just a really nice versatile concealer as well so this is from Urban Decay the next makeup item I've been enjoying is a new liquid eyeliner. Now I mentioned this liquid eyeliner in a recent haul video. This is from Kat Von D and it's a tattoo liner in the shade Trooper. I've actually got this on today. I wear it pretty much every single day and it's just been one of my favourite um, eyeliners to reach for. Um, my Stila All Day liquid eyeliner actually dried up um, pretty quickly so I've been um, after a new eyeliner and this one just been really um, working really well for me and I just really like it because it's got a really nice fine nib to it and you can definitely do a cat eye really quickly in the morning and you can definitely go um, and do a really um, big flick like I did today or you can just go um, and do it along the lash line. I just really like this liquid eyeliner because it's got a really nice fine nib and it just stays put all day. It's one of my favourite eyeliners as well, hence why it's in this video. So this is from Kat Von D. The next, um, or the last makeup -y item I've been enjoying is a lipstick. Now this is from MAC and it's the MAC Lipstick in Craving. I actually haven't got this lipstick on today but I have been wearing this pretty much every single day and this one is just a really nice cool tone uh, raspberry colour. Um, it's not too in your face and it definitely stays put all day and my lips are quite dry in the past couple of weeks so this one is definitely quite moisturising and I find this with all MAC lipsticks as well, they are quite moisturising um, so yeah, they're definitely worth the investment and I just really like the shade Craving as well so this is Craving. The final um, 
40k product I want to share with you guys before uh, moving on to some random favorites um is a hand cream now I think I talked about this hand cream in the past because I have been buying it for the past year or two years but this one's from Aesop and it's the Aesop Resurrection Aromatic Hand Balm and I actually recently bought up this jar version which I really really like I actually keep this next to my bedside table and it's just a really nice um hand cream to use every day before bed and I really like the smell of it because it smells like oranges which is one of my favorite scents and it's very citrusy it's very fresh and it's very moisturizing as well whereas I find a lot of hand cream they kind of sink in and they disappear but this one definitely stays on your hands and leaving your hands really hydrated as well so really been enjoying this hand cream from Issa moving on to some random favorites I've actually been enjoying this pour over um that I picked up recently. This is from TK Maxx and it's just a really nice um, simple pour over that I use to make coffee every day and this has completely changed the way I see coffee now because I used to just um, always buy ground coffee and put it in a cafeteria but that didn't taste really well sometimes but this one since buying this one I've been using a filter with it and it's just been making proper coffee. It tastes amazing and I use this every single day and I have been enjoying um like a morning cup of coffee every day it's just been really refreshing and it's definitely changed the way i look in coffee as well so really been enjoying this pour over from tk maxx the final favorite i want to show you guys is a fashion favorite and this is actually quite a random one i've actually been wearing um hats recently so this is a hat i picked up recently from banana republic and it's just a really nice black fedora hat and i always wore hats but i never really um wore them quite consistently but this time um, I wore this one quite a lot this month and it's just a really nice simple black hat and it's great if you haven't washed your hair or if you've got a, a bad hair day or um, if it's raining outside then I find this really really handy because you just can pop it on and just walk out the door and yeah I really like this it definitely dresses up an outfit and it just makes a statement as well so really really been enjoying this hat from Banana Republic the wrap for me guys for my January favourites I know it was a bit random this month I hope you will enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and definitely subscribe if you haven't and I would have my latest video linked for you down below and also my Twitter and social media would be linked down below as usual and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week for a new video bye